I know a lot of you VBWRX owners have been eagerly awaiting some power mods for this platform, so that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. Ever since the FA24 engines came out, they've shown good potential for making power, especially with some relatively minor bolt-ons. But once you get to that 400 wheel horsepower range, that's where things start to get a little bit more complicated, and you start to find out about the limitations of the stock fuel system, as well as the stock block when you really start pushing these cars. We actually sent a prototype closed deck block out to TPG Tuning, and they recently set a quarter mile record using their shop car with a 9.8 second pass. <laughs> And if you are looking to make over 400 horsepower with your FA24, I've got some mods we're gonna cover later in the video, including injectors, a high pressure fuel pump, turbo upgrades, and all the parts that you're gonna need to help get there. So first things first, this is Mason. He works in the engine department, and I'm gonna have him tell us about some of the technical specs of our new FA24 blocks. Uh, so the elephant in the room, can you help explain why it's been hard to make FA24 short blocks? Uh, it's been Subaru. We haven't been able to get cases or cranks very easily. It's taken us a while to build up what inventory that we have. And we were afraid if we started putting out one or two here and there that it was just going to be a higher demand than we could keep up with and we weren't going to have happy customers wait, waiting weeks or months for their engine. So once we have the case halves which are hard to find, what's the process look like to turn it into a closed deck short block? So the case actually gets put in the CNC and then it gets machined out for a closed deck insert. It's a solid insert and that gets pressed in and then it actually gets machined out for all the coolant passages, decked flat. And then uh, for this block, since it's fire lock, it gets machined for the fire lock groove. And then we come back and we drill and tap for 14 millimeter head studs. Okay, and let's talk a little bit specifically about the fire lock head gaskets. So you guys have probably seen these before on our EJ short blocks. These are slightly different, obviously, because they're the FA version, but uh, why fire lock? What, what makes this a good head gasket? So uh, we separate the cylinder sealing from the coolant and oil sealing. And this is actually a fiber composite gasket. And all this does is seal the coolant and the oil. And then we have a stainless steel ring here that sits in the groove of the block and this does the ceiling for the cylinder. So you kind of have the best of both worlds as far as gasket materials. And we've done testing on our EJs and we've made 1200 horsepower with this type of setup without having any uh, head gasket issues. That's awesome. So yeah, I mean, you always hear the jokes about head gasket issues on Subaru, but with the IG fire lock system, it's really a thing of the past. Yep. Um, all right, so once we have the case halves machine for fire lock and everything's closed decked, uh, from there, uh, do you hone everything out or can you tell me about what that process is like? Yep, so after all the machining's done, uh, the block gets sent to the hone room and then we torque plate it up with a set of fire lock gaskets and then it gets put in the hone for the pistons that are assigned to it and then it gets final washed and then brought into the assembly room and then main bearings get paired to it, crank gets paired to it, uh, rods are paired to it and rings filed and then gets assembled. Okay, cool. Uh, and then obviously the internals themselves have been upgraded over a standard Subaru FA24. Uh, so are we using forged pistons and can you tell me about some of the internal components? Yep. So. The pistons are made for us specifically by JE. They have a couple features that we do ourselves. They have an electrolytic nickel coating. They have lateral gas ports, upgraded H13 tool steel wrist pins. They, uh, they are accommodated for a plus two rod. Okay. So the rod uh, is an IAG spec plus two millimeter H beam connecting rod. And then uh, we have ACL main and rod bearings in it as well. So let's talk a little bit about the power rating. This looks very similar to our EJ950 uh, short block. Would you say that's the most comparable um, EJ model to yep. what this FA24 yeah. is? Our 950 did really well and it's always done really well. So we wanted to just take that and put it into the FA24 setup 
and pretty much it is as close as we can get. Okay, and based on the fact that TPG Tuning was running this block and uh, making you know upwards of 800 horsepower, we can confidently say that this is a 1,000 crank, uh, horsepower. crank horsepower yep. rated block. Yep. So in addition to the new IAG short blocks for the FA24, we've also got a new lineup of IAG turbos for the FA24. The one on my left here, as you can tell, we've had installed on our VBWX, and this is a journal bearing turbo, and it's equivalent in size to a Garrett GT3071R. Now the cool part about this turbo is it fits in the factory location, so there's no major modifications needed. Really all you have to do is just swap over your wastegate and your blow-up valve, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, but if you are looking for something a little bit more spicy, I would recommend the turbo on my right. And this is a ball bearing turbo, and it's the equivalent of a Garrett GTX 25660. So as the name implies, you can make somewhere in that 660 horsepower range. And uh, this is also going to give you better transient response being a ball bearing turbo. Both these turbos are not available yet, but they will be available in the beginning of 2025. And the plan is to put a closed deck short block in our VB and install these turbos. So hopefully we can show you guys some dyno numbers. So if you do want to make big power with your FA24, you should definitely upgrade your fuel system. IEG teamed up with Nostrum to make some high flow direct injectors and a high pressure fuel pump for both the FA20 and the FA24. So this is going to give you more headroom with your fuel system and that means you can make more power, run more boost, and these are both E85 compatible so if you want to run straight E85 you can do that or you can run them with pump gas as well. Well I'm super excited about all the new parts we have in the works for the FA24. I think we're yet to see the potential of this platform and with TPG tuning and other companies out there really showing us what these cars can do, now is a great time to own a VBWX. If you are interested in an IEG short block or high pressure fuel pump or any of the parts you saw in this video, I'll make sure I leave them in the description down below. With that said, see you in the next one.